Hi everyone, it's Kelly here, your online art coach and crafty instructor. Welcome back to my channel. You're in the right place if you are a creator, an artist, or a crafter. In today's video, I'm going to show you my new box of goodies, the Chocola, Chocola, <laughs> I can say that again, Chocola, sent for me to try out. I'm going to show you how you can create using some really fun ways to use them. And we'll be doing a couple of quick marker drawings like this avocado and birch tree. So stick around to the very end. And if you like this video, make sure to share it with your creative friends and hit that notification bell. So you will see our next video for next week coming up with a wonderful alcohol ink artist. We're going to be chatting with her and discussing her animal portraits and her some of her acrylic pores. So make sure you um, come back next week to see that one. And if you want to watch more in-depth ways to create with alcohol, ink, watercolor, or resin, make sure to check out my online classes at www.kellychassiefineart.com. So hey everyone, here is my Amazon box. I just opened it up and I wanted to show you guys the goodies that uh, Chocola sent to me. We have... Ooh, I've been wanting these, I, and I'll tell you why in a second. These are the chalk markers, so they're like marker-ish that you'd use on a chalkboard, but they're kind of like a paint pen all in one. And they've got, look at all these colors. They have like all the bright colors, neon, they have pastels, they have like regular shades. It says to shake well with the cap on and then remove the cap for about 30 seconds. Press the tip and let the ink flow and then recap it tightly after use. Store in a horizontal position. Write with a marker, push down with a pen. We need extra ink and to wash it off, you use a wet cloth or Windex. And then it does say it works best on chalkboards, whiteboards, blackboards, windows, glass, ceramics, and other non-porous surfaces. So look at those colors. Aren't they pretty? Oh my goodness. This one. So they've got a little, little ball bearing kind of thing inside and you have to shake it to get them going. But it does say they're child safe. They're water-based. They're non-toxic. Um, they wash off of clothes. They're low odor, acid free, quick drying, and long lasting. And then they also sent me this cute little chalkboard that goes with it. So let's take a look at this. So I think it's just like a little regular little chalkboard. Let's open it up here. Again, same company, Chocola. Oh, that's cute. Cute little size. I'll get the bubble wrap off of it here for you. Oh, it's got a nice little wood frame. It does have a little bit of bubbling here on maybe how they glued it down. But that's a, that's no big deal. And then it's got like a little easel with a chain attached to it. So this, how, how cute would this be? Like if you have either an art class coming up or if you have, you know, you want to put your menu up for your friends or if you have a party. Lots of little things you could do with this. My ideas are going in my brain. My to-do list. Whoa. That's big. Oh, and it comes with actually one of the chalk markers. This is in white. So you have a white one inside the little box and I guess a white one comes with this. So hello. Oh, and it writes so nice. Let's just clean it off really quickly. So I did it first with just a dry, a dry uh, paper towel. It does work much better. I just used water for this and it actually cleaned it right up. And then I did make my menu for my family for dinner this evening. Yes, we are having blueberry pie. Woohoo! So how cute is that? So then I also tried it on my window. I got to thinking, man, if I had little kids or if I had grandkids, how perfect would this be to write on your windows, give them something to do without the mess? You know, with chalkboards and the chalk and stuff, it's always really messy, but these just clean up so nicely. You could do like a whole scene on your window for the holidays. You've got Valentine's Day, you've got Easter, you've got Thanksgiving, Christmas, and I think all the holidays and all the little cute little things that you could do on your windows for the kids, even like little snowflakes and things. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. And I saw the sign just recently in Hobby Lobby that said Lake Love Life. And I was like, oh, I should get that. But then I thought, no, it's just another thing. And then I saw another one that said, let's stay home, which is what we do all the time. We love to stay home because we have a perfect view and we could pretty much do everything outside our back door. So it's awesome. So, you know, just writing things on the window, writing things maybe on the mirror for notes. Like if you try to remember if you need toothpaste or my husband used to write little notes to me and said, I love you. You know how you write it when you take a shower and you get a little steam in the bathroom. 
So that was really cool. And this does clean off the mirror and it comes cleans off the window really easy as well. You can see I just wiped it right down. And then I got like really creative. I was like, oh my goodness, I can actually write on my resin desk with this thing too. So I can write myself notes. And then I just decided I was going to do my little doodle here on right on my desk. So this is the avocado. And I think this is how an avocado looks here. I was trying to see if they blend really well and how, how it works. So to give you an idea, when the chalk markers are wet, you can actually do a little blending with them. So you can see the center here kind of uh, bled a little bit and the paint's moved. When it dries, it's really hard to do. And you can see where I just kind of scraped it off because they do scrape off because they're like chalk in a way. And my resin desk that I did, I will actually link this for you to my video on how I created my resin desk for you up here in the right hand corner. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this desktop, um, you can see it here on YouTube. So anyway, I just did, it blended a little bit with my finger and you know, it, it worked, well, worked out well. And then I give a little pink background and then I add a little bit of purple. And again, just taking my finger and smearing that in because it's still wet, there's a lot of paint on there. Chalk markers, who knew? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna wipe this off now. So I'm thinking I can leave myself all my little to-do notes for the day right on my desk and then wipe them off as I do them. <laughs> which I love, I love to-do lists. I love my little notes and what better way to do it right on my desk. So I wiped this one off again. I tried to do it dry. It had been sitting here for a little bit. I wanted to see how long it took before it, before it actually dried. And it was, you know, maybe 15 minutes or so and it was completely dry. So if you try to wipe it off, you can see it, you have to push a little bit. It smears a little bit, it's a little bit more trickier. So I took my little water bottle Again, I just didn't want to use Windex. Water was fine. You can see that just kind of smears it. A little wipe and a little touch up cleanup for the extra chalk area and voila. How perfect is that? So then I thought, well, I can do it on my desk. Let's go ahead. I tried it on my mirror, it worked out great. And then I had my little uh, flower jar in the bathroom so I thought oh how cute is that you can actually do little doodles or little little um, ideas on your jars so this would be cute even like for the kids or for your craft supplies wipes up really easy in the kitchen if you wanted to you know constantly changing out like if you have different things in your jars which I do um, you know oats in one maybe your flour in another one uh, you could do little love notes to your loved ones if you want to put like M&Ms in there or something. I mean, just, I was like, wow, the ideas are endless. And then my car, I'm thinking, you know, if you've got like the black bears are playing or whatever, you could be putting notes on the back of your window. Of course, if it rains, it's all over, but if it doesn't rain, doesn't get wet, you're good to go. Or if you can write backwards, you could actually do it on the inside of your window and won't have to worry about it. So I did my little bouquet of spring flowers here and just had fun with my jar and just created some cute little flowers on there. And then I was like, well, let's just do one more. So I did <laughs> my birch trees with this. And again, just really fun and easy. So if you're just bored and you want to doodle and you just, you know, feel like having some fun or if you've got the kids or whatever on the, on my resin desk, it worked wonderful. If you have it on your mirror, you want to do it. If you want to have it on glass, you can do it. It's just super fun. You guys, I really like these chalk markers. I am super excited that they sent these to me to try out. So they're going to leave me a link down below. They've left me a link. So if you're interested in getting these, they'll leave you a link down below and you get 10% off if you order. And they're also sweet enough. They're going to be doing a giveaway. How great is that? So you can get your own markers and uh, all you've got to do is look down in the description box below. It tells you how you can enter. Make sure that you like and share the video. If, if you like these kind of tutorials, let me know down below and we'll be doing some more. So I will see you guys coming up next week. I do want to give a shout out, a Tuesday tag shout out to one of my students that took our jewelry class, Felicity Cox and her daughter made these beautiful pieces. So let me know down below. Leave me a comment if you've tried these markers before, if you're interested in trying them. Don't forget to um, follow the directions on the giveaway. And we will see you guys next week. Don't forget, we've got a special guest next week I'm chatting with. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.